having a star party afterwards with star cookies. So um, stay, stay for the fun. Um, so a couple of things before I hit the web page here. Um, on the, okay, on the back table there, you're going to see um, some beautiful handmade books by Joe Anderson, Mabel Dean, um, Kurt Dornberg, um, and Deb Hilbert. And you are welcome to very carefully look at these books. They are treasures. They are, I would say, museum quality pieces, some of them. But please, very carefully, no cookies on your fingers, um, but uh, very carefully look at some of these beautiful books. And then the owners are taking them home today. Um, there is one roll that Mabel Dean did back there. It's a 50 foot long um, watercolor roll, uh, which we use as partly a runner for this table. We were um, asked to set up a table of artist books for a memorial for um, Helen Schaefer, who helped start the Poetry Center, and that was on Saturday. So it was a quick put together uh, little pop up show of two hours. Of, but the comments from the members that went to this memorial service, they were like, wow, they were blown away. So it was really fun to showcase some of our books. And I brought them there for you to take a look at. Um, they're quite amazing. Um, okay. The scholarship table, I want to mention, Emily with a cookie in her mouth back there. <laughs> uh, yes, and so all of that goes to our scholarship fund. We love supporting our students at Pima College and at um, University of Arizona. And if you have items to donate, um, please give them to Emily and um, yeah, she, she will do that for you. So thank you, Emily, for, for setting that up. Um, I also wanna thank Mara Crummins. Mara's over there, who's taken over our Instagram, Facebook page. And if you haven't been on it lately, she's doing a great job just doing member spotlights and um, tagging people and all that stuff I don't really know, but um, anyway, she's doing a great job. So please, please take a look um, and um, sign up. And we've gotten more people to sign up, right? For our paperworks page. So, and I think the links are on our front page of our, uh, of our website. Okay, on the front page, there are the links to our Instagram and Facebook page. Yes. Okay. And one more quick thing, let's see. Let's go to our membership section, if you could, Emily. Okay, and I would just say it's time to renew your membership now. And uh, for the new year, it starts January. And if you could do that, you could do it online. It's very easy to write online. Um, also our treasurer, Miriam is in the back and Heather McLean is our membership. You could also do it uh, right there, write a check, uh, whatever. Um, I'm not sure if you take charge, do you take charge? Yes, of course, okay, of course. So um, you can go back there during our break. Um, let's see, uh, okay, let's go to programs. And I do wanna say that, um, uh, so our upcoming speakers, I, I just wanted to go over that. This month we're live and in person and Kath McCauley is our speaker. In January, we have Marilyn De Silva. This is going to be a Zoom only meeting and maybe we could get that on our webpage too, Anne. That's our only Zoom only meeting. But um, she is a jewelry designer extraordinaire from uh, University of California. And I believe uh, Terry Enfield has taken classes from her. She also makes books out of silver, maybe jewelry, metal, whatever. She makes metal books, uh, jewelry books. I'm not sure. But anyway, she's supposed to be great. And that will be Zoom only. So we won't see each other in person until February. In February, we have Charles Tampico, Tampio, and 
I think he is speaking on lost women in art, something about women in art. And he's a very good speaker. So that will be fun. And also I want to tell you in February is going to be our clean out your closet sale. It's not on here yet, but bring, not garbage, but art supplies, <laughs> art supplies. We'll have tables around here. And, um, you know, if you want to just donate them, you know, then the money goes into our scholarship fund. If you want to sell some of the things yourself, that's fine too. But let's just have a nice big swap of things you don't want um, or another person could use, you know. Uh, one man's art, another person's treasure. So that's going to be in February. March is our spooling around member challenge. And Vicki, do you have anything to say? Um, I just want to really encourage you to, to keep those creative juices flowing and you know participate in the challenge. On the website, um, they have my contact information if you have any questions. And also, I'm asking people to, to send me a photograph of the piece, um, the title, media, et cetera. I think that deadline is like February 17th. Check that out again. Please participate. You can create more than one piece, so go for it. Yes. So, the spooling around, real quickly, a, a few years ago, we did uh, out of the box, a cigar box challenge. And many of you were here for it, but we were like, take a cigar box, do what you want with it. And um, we had about 30 people here and uh, it was wonderful to see what people came up with with their cigar box challenge. So um, people thought out of the box and we want you to think out of the box for your spool challenge. Um, we made a journal of it. If you don't have one, take a journal up here. They're very fun. And afterwards, people that didn't participate said, oh, I wish I would have done that, you know? So get the creative juices going, okay? And that's going to be, and that's going to be our program in March. It's going to be all that, okay? And people also have voting. We'll be voting. Yeah, favorite pieces and stuff, and small awards. Well, yeah, that's right. Yes, it will be fun. Um, and then, uh, let's see, we have Roberta Lavador is coming from Pendleton, Oregon. And she's also doing a workshop in April, and I'll get to that in a minute. And in May, we have Erin Newman, one of our members will be talking to us at our last meeting of the season. And also I wanted to say, Terry Enfield has been in charge of programs. Um, she is going off the board uh, as of, uh, this month. So we are looking for a new programs person, but who I want is a programs team, more than just one person. So Terry is very willing to help and advise. We have a list of speakers that we're, we're contacting, trying to get, but a programs team would be more than that. It would be kind of figuring out like our show and sell and other fun things that we want to do. We kind of want to not put it all on one person, so. Um, up here, I have, oh, I just brought in uppercase magazines. If you don't have any of those, I'm gonna give this to the scholarship table. These are wonderful magazines. They sell for $20. You can have them for really cheap. So right there. Also, 20, uh, if you didn't get your 20 anniversary uh, thing, uh, our journal, yes, the journal. Uh, gift to you all little books by Karen Butts. If you want to come up and take a little book or two, um, they're just cute little pins books she used to make from Karen Butts. Do take a postcard, I mean a, a uh, bookmark. I'm sorry. But anyway, do take a bookmark. And then Deb, you want to come up and talk about uh, this. Um, what Deb is doing a quick little meetup. Do you want to talk there? Sure. I'll be Pat Sajak and Bobby will be Vanna. <laughs> <laughs> so um, my name is Deb Hilbert. Um, I've been a Bakerworks member for many years. And a couple of months ago, I took a free online course on making a very simple folder and tags. 
Um, the name of the project was called Permission Slips. And I thought, mm, am I interested? I don't know, but I thought, well, it's supposed to be fun and easy, so why not? So um, it is very easy and um, it's, it's a fun thing to do because you get your project done within a day. Um, what I really wanna do with this project is, um, and we, Bobby and I and Heather had talked about it, um, instead of having a, uh, a creative meetup that goes on for weeks or months, I'm doing a one day creative meetup. And so this is a one-time thing. It's gonna be at my house at the end of January. There's a sign up sheet here. And what I really want is to um, uh, provoke conversation about how, how to allow women to give themselves permission to do things that they would like to do. Um, when I was working on this project, um, I thought, you know, I'm making meaning for myself. And it turned out to be um, a lot more enlightening than I thought from the, from the beginning. And so I wanna create more creative or opportunities for creative community, uh, just like what we're doing with the star party later, um, enhance friendships, give people opportunity to get together. And um, it's gonna be just donation only to a local nonprofit. So um, I hope everybody can uh, take a look at the book and the tags, the sign-up sheet, and um, explanation on the table. So um, and these tags are going to be you give your going to be written on here the permission. Right, right. right. So you so you um, it's it's so simple. It's uh, to me it's um, it's profound. <laughs> you take it you take an old. Uh, manila folder and you paint it and use half of it for the folder and half of it for the tags. So you can use it for hopes and dreams. You can use it for intentions. You can use it for goals. Um, you can use it to give yourself permission to take, um, you know, take more time doing art, to stay in your pajamas all day, to, uh, to cry however long you need to, um, you know, all sorts of applications. And so, um, uh, come up to the table, take a look, and I hope a few people get to sign up and um, join me in late January for some meaningful conversation and a little bit of art thrown in. Thanks. Thanks, Deb. And this is January 26th from 1 to 3. You can sign up there, and it's at Deb's house. She'll give you information. Um, also, uh, another member would like to, uh, let's see, a new meetup also is Forming. And I just got this this morning or last night. Hold on. Who is that? Oh, here. Um, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, from Diane Chesser. And they are forming a new meetup on book binding. And they're getting started on this. Oh, they're meeting Thursday, January 26th also from 10 to 12 at Rebecca's house. Um, it's going to be a meet and greet organization, um, a make and take activity. So if you're, there's been a lot of calls from having a book binding meetup and learning book binding. Um, it's starting now. I'm going to put this piece of paper there. Um, you could sign up on the back. And um, this is great. We're getting some groups going. Okay, quickly, let's go move on. We have a lot to cover. Let's see, what's next here? Um, ed education. Oh, I, I skipped education. So let's go back to education. Okay. Okay. Um, we have Suzanne Moore is our workshop coming up and it's filled. That's coming up in January. And um, if you did not see Suzanne Moore's talk for paperwork, it is on our webpage. Um, keep scrolling down. And we have another workshop that is coming. Let's see. Yes. So oh, let's see. Keep going. Is Roberta Lavadors in there? Okay, go up. Let's see. All right. I thought that might be on there. Um, all right. Uh, I guess not. But Roberta Lavador is our uh, teacher from 
Pendleton, Oregon. It's going to be a book binding one, and that is variations on the sewn board binding, and that is April 13th, 14th, and 15th. Um, she's a professed professional bookbinder, does beautiful work, and our signups will start February 13th. Also on our education page, if we go down a little bit, there is a uh, place where you can, if you want to suggest a class or teach a class, there is a link down there. Yes, would you like to teach for paperworks? So there's a wonderful form set up. Um, just you know, say what you want to do, um, and that would be great. Um, and they will contact you and we'll set something up. Um, it could be very casual thing. It could be a meetup. It could be, well, it could be a pop-up, whatever you're thinking you want it to be. So that form is online. And then also, yay, we have our collage extravaganza day. Yes. And that is Saturday, February 24th at St. Oh, here. Okay, St. Francis. I don't know if it's here. Is it? It's another classroom. No, it's not a Friday. It's a Okay, here it says Saturday, February 24th. It's a Friday. What? What is it? Friday or Saturday? It's a Friday. Okay. 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 Of just things to write. And we're asking also for some extra papers, some extra materials that you might want to bring. Some have come without such goodies to work with, but it's a great opportunity tomorrow. And uh, look for that. It is, that, it is so fun. You're the, thank you for doing that again, the collage. Um, yeah, it stretches you, and it's just a fun, no stress um, activity. And you learn a lot. Okay, let's introduce our, well, we're kind of back to meetups, but sorry, I'm all over the place, but uh, Lita Doskin and the Sketchers, do you want to come up and say a few words? Yay. And they have a wonderful couple tables of their work, so. Oh, hi, uh, I'm the point person for uh, the Sketchers group. And uh, we meet twice a month. Uh, we usually, you can't hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay. So we meet twice a month. Uh, the first uh, Saturday of the month, it's a Zoom meeting uh, where sometimes we'll uh, uh, be teaching, uh, somebody will, will offer an exercise for us to do or sometimes we'll just show every show each other what we've done for the you know past uh, few weeks or not just kind of you know gap but um it's always fun and then the second uh time of the month uh usually a couple of weeks later we'll meet as uh as a group uh personally and we'll pick a spot where uh, it's kind of interesting, like the Hornet Chul or uh, uh, Tucson Botanical Gardens, some kind of a location which provides uh, inspirational things for us to draw or paint or, or both. And then after that, then we get together and we have, and, and, and we separate out while we're there. And then we get back together uh, after a few hours and we'll have lunch and show each other what we did or did not do. Uh, so, and now the next uh, in-person meeting is going to be Christmas Eve. Uh, we're going to meet at 9 a.m. Uh, at Wren Coffee Shop in St. Philip's Plaza. Uh, and we can stay there and sketch in the coffee shop, or there's plenty of places to bop around uh, and find interesting places to uh, items to sketch. Uh, so uh, now our group is an open group; anybody can join, uh, and uh, you don't 
have to know how to draw. Okay. If you, all you need is the heart, of, um, you want to make marks. You, if you can draw a straight line, squiggly line, circle, you can draw. Okay. It's all up to you, and you can see at our table all the different things that we've discovered on how to, um, what's considered drawing. Uh, as um, Bobby, who attended one of our Zoom meetings, we were having an exercise that day, and she said, Oh, I can't draw. And uh, we said, oh, Yeah, we can. And uh, anyhow, and I'm reading what you you wrote it okay because I had asked her to bring what she had drawn that day and I looked through and could not find any of the sketches I did at your meetup but I thought they were great exercises that Judy that's another person in our group who actually lives up uh, in Washington State now but she's an active zoomer with us so um, uh, that Judy gave us uh, and it was on how to see, how to, you know, how to look at something, how to put your spin on it. What she did was she gave us a picture and we all looked at it and then she had us do various exercises with it. And so how to put your spin on it, how to put your emotions into a drawing, how to work quickly and intuitively. And I loved seeing how different everyone's work was, looking at the same subject. And they were all great, which they all were. And yours was very good. And I don't want you to ever do that again. That you got rid of. I think I think you just got rid of it. So uh, it's a very supportive group. Uh, that what we do is we just continue to inspire and support each other to try new things and to just keep playing with art. Um, so if anybody wants to uh, try us out. You can come to the table over there and you can give me your email and I'll put you on our list. Thank you, Lena. And Lena does a wonderful job. Oh, she you. does a great job as a point person for that. Just keeping them organized. Thank you, Lena. Great job. We meet every two weeks. I think one once on Zoom and then once at live in person. Yeah, great. So um, take a look at their work. It's wonderful. It's fun to see. Okay, uh, real quickly, I'm going to the homepage now. And um, okay, uh, homepage down at Take a Bow. And you can see our postcard. Okay, yeah, Take a Bow. Let's click on that. I just want to go through um, what people have been up to. Judy Bjorling, who moved to Washington, is just in tons of shows up there. So we can. S scroll through those. Judy, wow. She's getting into a bunch of galleries up there, but she's still in our sketching group here. So we're glad you're connected. And I think uh, Judy's here on Zoom. Okay, Barbara Kemp Cowlin um, has paintings, in a painting in New York City, which was wonderful. And a Contemporary Arts Center of Scottsdale. One of her works, I love her colorful works. And Catherine Nash, moving on, is at the Bauer Stick Gallery in Provincetown, Massachusetts. Okay. And then Judy again. Oh, wow. Northwind Art. Okay. Joe Kubran. I haven't seen Joe for a while, but um, she's a wonderful photographer. Beautiful work. She's at Tahona Tool. Joe Anderson is here today. And she's, oh, where is this at? Oh, those are wonderful. And where are those at, Joe? Where? Northern Arizona. Okay, wonderful. Oh, there's Joe Oh, Tahona Tool. Okay, those are Tahona Tool. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's okay. Okay, keep going. And Lynn Hart, oh, Lynn's here today also, and those are from Tahona Tool. Yeah, Lynn. We're going to the watershed. 
Okay, on the water show, catch up. Okay, keep going. I have to get there. I have not been there yet. The out of where is at the water show. Keep going. And Suzanne Moore, who is um, teaching for us in February, the workshop. Um, she is actually, she's flying out to um, Boston, I think today. And she is in a show in the Boston Athenaeum. And she's also giving a talk, a virtual talk. So we have this link here. We'd like you to, it should be really interesting and much uh, do about nothing, exploring the making of zero cipher of infinity. So um, it sounds very interesting and we'll log on to that. Okay, uh, continuing on, Judy, once again. Oh my gosh, Judy, wonderful. Joe Kubran. Our photography, Judy, again. <laughs> Did she for this one or one of them? Okay, wonderful. And, oh what, my gosh, Judy has a lot. And Barbara kemp is up in the Mesa Community Arts Center. Um, Kat, I have uh, one of her works. Catherine Nash um, is in, where is she at? Um, a book, yeah, a book. And last one is Catherine Nash and the sculpture at the outdoor park, Triangle L Ranch, which is lovely, which I saw, Emergence. Okay, I think that's it. And then I would like to introduce our student, Isabel. Isabel, you wanna come on up? There's a picture of Isabel on, uh, you wanna come up here and talk and um, then we can go over or I can hold your work for you if sure. you'd like. And this is Isabel from Pima College and she was one of our scholarship winners last year. <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for um, supporting students, and I feel honored to have been chosen as one of the recipients. Um, so I'm at the University of Arizona right now. I do miss Pima quite a bit. <laughs> uh, this one was for my figure drawing class. Um, I was I had it at the Bernal Gallery briefly um, at Pima Community College. Um, yeah, charcoal. I, I really like working with the figure. Um, that is, um, I think it's like a, a nib and you dip it in ink. It's not an actual pen, which I find easier, but I was interested in trying something new. Um, so that's actually a scene from the book of Genesis of uh, the serpent in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> I, um, since I was very small, I, I did a lot of master copies uh, without knowing it until I went to college. They explained that that's actually something pretty valid to do. Um, this is by Robert Henry. I, I love the Impressionists and um, this piece was just so beautiful. So I wanted one of my own. <laughs> and that is uh, oil, oil painting. Um, this is another master copy, uh, very much, yes, very much in the same technique as the serpent. Uh, that's by Brittany Wrightson. Um, I wanted something that had a lot of lines in it because it hides your mistakes and it looks pretty impressive. <laughs> it, it's, it's much easier than it looks and it's, um, it's, it, it was, it did take a while, but it's just line, line, line. It's nothing complicated. <laughs> uh, the model here is my uh, boyfriend of seven years now. Uh, he was kind enough to pose for me. Uh, the project was to do two opposite light sources um, in color. Uh, there's not as much red as I would have liked, um, but it's, 
the, the painting is uh, part of a diptych and we'll, I'll, I'll show the other one in a second. Um, I think it's underneath the charcoal drawing. Thank you, Bobby. Um, and that is his, uh, well, this is, this works for me. This is his younger sister. And um, both of the paintings, uh, that one is called The Saint. She's holding a rosary. Uh, the red coat is um, just to signify my love of um, Anders Zorn, an amazing painter who came up with this limited color palette, which is only um, four colors, white, red, blue, and yellow. Um, so when you do with smaller colors, it's just much more manageable than having more colors. <laughs> uh, so that one is the saint, the other one is the sinner. Uh, I just wanted something small to signify what we call people. Um, so she is holding the rosary and he's holding a book by Darwin. <laughs> I don't have a lot on my projects from the U of A back yet. This is my first semester. So you're at U of A now? Yes, okay. this is my first semester, uh, barely surviving. <laughs> um, this was, I, I read Dante's Inferno when I was very young with the, the pictures, the ink drawings in that book are so beautiful. Um, so this is kind of inspiring um, that uh, the stage where he walks in um, hell and then the next would be purgatory, paradise. Um, I also, as I said before, I love working with the human figure. Um, so that's, they have us work with much larger scale. So it's been a struggle. Um, and those are just some quick sketches I did. Um, that's one I'm working on a larger scale that I haven't gotten back from the U of A yet. <laughs> it's the season. Any questions for Isabel? Very talented, but yeah. great friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. I really appreciate it. My dad is a big supporter of mine, and I wouldn't be here without him today. Well, thank we you. thank you for. Um, I, I hate to leave you talking. Oh, no, I I'll, got it. I'll put them here. But um, yeah, we will. People will have to come up here and take a look 